Rich Dad, Poor Dad is one of Robert Kiyosaki's best-selling books. The book is based on the lessons he learned from his two fathers while growing up, his biological father and his best friend's father. In this video, I will share with you 10 best advice from the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. 1. The experience will make you learn. In this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert talks about how he began working with his best friend's dad. Robert's dad, whom he tagged the poor dad, always advised him to aim for good grades in school so that after his degree, he could get a stable job with great benefits. However, his best friend's dad, called Rich Dad, taught him that by learning how money works practically, his finance will be stable. One time, he took a job with Xerox simply because he knew that he was a shy person and Xerox was renowned for having the best sales training program. Robert knew that for him to be successful, he had to learn how to sell through practical learning. He became one of the top salespeople in the company and having gained what he wanted out of a job, left shortly afterward. It is not enough to get a degree. Be bold enough to get into the field and learn. It is not the smart ones who are most successful but the courageous. 2. Pay yourself first Although this phrase was first used in the book The Richest Man in Babylon, it became an essential financial rule to Robert Kiyosaki and he shared it in the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The typical life pattern of most people is that even before salaries are paid, the whole money has been planned and is not yet enough for the expenses. Talk more of having some for savings. For this reason, you should keep a tenth from your salary before making expenses. Not that the fact that it's called self-payment does not mean that the money kept aside should be spent on your desires and frivolities. The money is intended to be channeled into assets and investments that will afford you a passive stream of income. According to Robert Kiyosaki, the reason we earn is not for us to spend but also for being financially independent. If you want to be financially independent, then you must develop the discipline to pay yourself first. 3. Don't say, I can't afford it. Ask, how can I afford it? Robert noted that while growing up, his father often said, we can't afford to do this or that. Whereas rich dad forbade his children to say, I can't have it. Instead, he suggested replacing the statement, I can't, to the question, how can I get it? The reason is that while the first phrase shuts down a person's brain, they no longer have to think. The second one opens up possibilities, excitement and dreams. It forces the brain to search for an answer. In today's economy, it is quite easy to feel financially defeated and settle for the phrase, I can't afford it. But for how long will you settle for less? How long will you limit yourself with that soul-weakening phrase? When you change your narrative, your life will dramatically transform from struggling to thriving because your brain opens to find and key into opportunities swiftly. 4. Learn about financial intelligence In the words of Robert Kiyosaki, money without financial intelligence is money soon gone. Often, many people assume that the way to become wealthy is to earn more money. Well, this only works for those who are financially intelligent. Those who lack financial knowledge, no matter the amount of money they earn, remain broke. If you want to be prosperous, then you must be financially intelligent. Financial intelligence comes from financial literacy, learning about money and how it works. Many people are lost when it comes to financing. They don't even know the amount they pay as tax or net worth. Financial illiteracy is the reason why also highly educated people are still stuck in the rat race. Robert faults the education system because schools do not teach financial education. They equip individuals with professional knowledge but fail to educate them on how to handle their finances. Financial intelligence is fundamental for financial independence. 5. Mind your business According to the author, his educated poor dad believed in hard work. He would say, go to school, get good grades and find a stable job and work your way up the ladder. Poor dad always concluded saying, remember that companies do not like people who move around a year. They reward individuals who are sincere and loyal. However, Rich Dad advised, instead of struggling to climb other people's ladder, create your ladder. Mind your business. Minding your business does not mean that you should quit your job. It means that even as you work for someone, you should learn valuable skills and work towards owning a company. If you want to be wealthy, you must build your own business in addition to your profession. 6. 
The way you handle fear determines your financial position. Another distinguishing factor between the rich and the poor is how they handle fear. Can you remember how many times you fell off the bicycle while learning to ride? Countless times, I guess. Many adults today do not know how to ride a bike, not because they did not have the opportunity to learn, but because they were scared of falling off the bike. Well, success is like learning to ride a bicycle. A lot of people miss opportunities because they are too scared to take risks. But then, the bitter truth is that no one who plays safe becomes successful. Robert cited that Rich Dad understood that failure would make him stronger and smarter. So, he approached life like a Texan, getting more inspired to win after a loss. Before you win, you lose. It is left for you to decide if you let fear deprive you of becoming financially independent. 7. Learn How to Sell One remarkable story shared in the book Rich Dad Poor Dad is Robert's conversation with a young journalist who has a master's degree in English literature. Robert narrates his experience with a female journalist and how she felt embarrassed because he advised her to go and learn how to sell. According to Robert, he is a best-selling author not because he is the best author but because he knows how to sell. He emphasized that regardless of how skilled you are, if you do not know how to sell, you will remain broke. Selling is a very crucial skill if you want to be rich. Every successful professional and entrepreneur today is not just competent in his field but also learned how to sell. Get out of your comfort zone, practice selling and networking. If you don't, you'll never be able to run your own business. 8. Don't buy liability, buy assets Kiyosaki defines assets as anything that brings money to your purse and liability as anything that takes money from you. He further stated that due to a lack of financial knowledge, many tend to acquire liabilities, thinking that they are assets. They buy big houses, cars and boats, thinking that they are long-term investments. Although those things may be included in your net worth as an asset, they don't put money in your pocket. Besides, with time, those so-called assets depreciate and their worth becomes less than the actual amount you spend to purchase them. While the rich invest their money in acquiring real assets such as intellectual properties, real estate, stock, etc., the poor and average individuals purchase liabilities and depreciate in assets. The secret to financial independence is for you to reduce your liabilities and grow your assets. 9. Once a dollar goes into your asset column, never let it come out. What do you think of a person getting rid of employees that are diligently doing their jobs and creating huge profits because of limited office space? Indeed, the best solution is to expand your office space and let those employees make more money for you. This is how it is with assets. Each of your invested dollars is like an employee that is working to make more money. Hence, Robert Kiyosaki recommends that unless for upgrade or exchange for something better, never liquidate your assets. Liquidating your assets puts your money in the position to disappear and eliminates the chance to get more money. When you have invested in assets that are making you more money, you should not let it out. Instead, find ways to increase the amount of money that you have invested so that you can make more money from your investments. 10. Employ people who are smarter than you and pay them well A quote by Robert Kiyosaki from the book Rich Dad Poor Dad goes thus An astute entrepreneur hires people who are more intelligent than he is. One mostly overlooked and an underrated asset is people. Many business owners fail to understand that having an experienced and happy employee is a more powerful asset than money. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you must hire the right brokers and employees and pay them well. Many people find it easy to give tips to waiters and security guards but get angry when their employees request a salary increase. Even before they ask for a raise, you should form the habit of compensating them from time to time. In so doing, they will be more motivated to put their best into making you more money. No doubt, following the lessons from this book can be the key to your financial freedom and independence.